What's going on YouTube modeling community? Pappy here at West Georgia Rods and Customs. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the uh, Polar Lights Donny Allison Talladega Torino build I've been doing here for about the past uh, three to four weeks now. Uh, as you can tell, I got a lot done uh, as far as with the, uh, from last time you saw it, uh, just a uh, pretty much well just pieces in different areas and been able to get a lot assembled here even got the decals uh, on the uh, on the body as you can tell been fighting those though they were very brittle uh, you got to think these things were 20 years old so one of the suggestions I might you know uh, throw out to the community if you're trying to build an older kit like this uh, one that's you know 20 plus years old uh, get you some fresh decals. Uh, these were slicks decals that came with the kit, but uh, 20 years old, I would suggest getting you some fresh ones. Uh, reason being, they were very brittle. Uh, I was able to get them to release from the backing film, but I was also able to, uh, uh, when I would start applying them, they would start tearing or part, start breaking up. So uh, probably should have invested into a, you know some some old uh, newer decals, but uh, kind of something I would pass along is to do that. I've had a lot of help throughout the community with this build as far as uh, tips on it. Good friend Mark Bastion said to uh, as far as the to be able to eliminate this uh, uh, this body line looking like it's you know got an upward uh, uh, curve to it. We showed you how I remedied that. That was very helpful. Um, good buddy uh, Brian over at BG's Models, he uh, said that the uh, take and wash, this, wash these kits very good uh, before painting or priming. Uh, reason being, they use a release agent that kind of sticks with the plastic. So uh, any body work or anything uh, as far as, you know, being able to wash it very good and then get, it, you know, getting it into primer, do that. A lot of prep pays off in the long run. I uh, was able to get everything primed on the body, got it all, got it painted up with the Italian red. Uh, gonna do, got, you know, like I say, I got the decals in most of this. Let me, uh, let me just kind of flip it to the side. Everything's looking, you know, we're getting it, we're getting it there. It's been a, it's been a fun little bill. Uh, plans for today is to, uh, the hood right here, we're gonna get it put, uh, we're gonna put some TS-80 on it, which is a flat clear, which is the ten, uh, Tamiya uh, products that I like to use. Uh, I'm going to spray the uh, the hood flat, uh, that way it will kind of make this uh, decal, you won't kind of see the clear film uh, line uh, that you know decals normally leave, and it kind of reduces the glare on it. You can see a pretty good amount of good amount of glare on that hood right there, especially in the decal area. So it's the shininess of the decal. So getting some TS80 sprayed on it. Still got some detail painting back here on the uh, uh, on this cowling uh, right here along the uh, behind the windshield. It's supposed to be a flat uh, black as well. So I'll be taping that off and getting that sprayed uh, probably in the next few days. I got to get clear sprayed over this uh, pretty soon. Uh, that way I can get these decals to just kind of, you know, bond to a little bit more bonding to the, uh, to the body itself. And uh, just uh, got to get the, uh, as far as the flat black across this back panel uh, where the tail lights are at. And then I'll take some, uh, uh, take some aluminum bare metal foil and do the, the tail lights back here. I'm going to put a discharge tube uh, back here at the back uh, like it would have been originally. I'm going to take some K&S tubing and uh, uh, duplicate that coming out right there. Uh, but just a lot of detail painting. I uh, was able the got it into a rolling chassis as you can tell. I'm going to dissect this a little bit uh, right now. Uh, let's, uh, let's, take, let's take the hood and set it over there. Uh, the, I've been T just uh, playing havoc right now. I need to actually probably put some uh, micro saw over some of these decals because some of them I've just been seeing just fleek off, especially some of these uh, these sponsor decals. Uh, just I've been playing havoc. Just I look at them and they just fall off. Last night during the hangout with uh, Brian at Got Fuels Model Garage, uh, I had to put on the uh, dash panel up here and I was trying to trim the dash and sand it a little bit. Uh, to get the dash to fit down in there, I was blowing the dust off of it and I blew the decals completely off of it. So <laughs> I may, uh, uh, and the, today I may, you know, put those back on there, uh, find me some more to put in there, but, but was able to, uh, got, got a lot done. Let me just say this. Let me keep dissecting, uh, the body. Uh, we're going to pull this 
Uh, let's set this, let me set this out of the way so I don't lose any more decals. I uh, was able to get, uh, got all the shocks mounted on it as far as the front shocks. Uh, those are in place. Uh, started putting some interior pieces in there. Uh, I, if you can see in there, you can tell what I did with the, uh, uh, with the dash. I was able to replicate that dash pretty well. Uh, got the, uh, uh, as far as the foot pedals, uh, as far as the accelerator, brake, and clutch pedals are, were in there. Uh, detail painted, showed you that last week on the headrest. Let's flip it over. Uh, there's the underneath of it so far. Got the, uh, uh, started getting most of the uh, uh, little pieces. Uh, as far as the, uh, the the vents right here, got the, got the uh, fuel tank in, everything's uh Everything's pretty much well coming coming to, uh, coming into place right there. So, flip it back over. Uh, still got a lot of detail. I'm going to do uh, as far as the seat possibly today. Get the seat in there. Get the seat belts in it. Uh, possibly get the uh, as far as the motor. Uh, do a little bit more on the motor, but just got a lot uh, uh, a lot done to it. Uh, we're looking uh, to bring this one down to. Uh, down to Jack's Con in a couple of weeks. Been uh, getting pretty excited about that. Got a lot of the builds over here on the uh, bench that I'll be bringing down there as well. So uh, this one, uh, hopefully if it uh, plays nicely, keep fingers crossed, uh, it'll be making the venture down to uh, uh, Jack's Con with us uh, two weeks from, uh, actually to yesterday. Uh, Jack's Con is a two-day show this, this year, February 11th and 12th down in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, if any of you are coming down, uh, drop me a line down here in the in the comment. Love to meet you, uh, talk modeling with you, and uh, just see you know uh, show you uh, show you my builds, and we can uh, we can share share looking at yours as well. Uh, love seeing uh, everybody else's work. I tell you, it's just uh, it's uh, it, it's it's really inspirational to see other folks builds. Uh, that was actually a question. Uh, I see it was watching some YouTube yesterday, Mark Hintz, uh, Mike's Miniature Models, uh, or Mike's Miniature M Motors. Uh, there's a question out there uh, floating around uh, from a new community member that, uh, you know, what inspires your builds? So I think I'll post, uh, uh, post a little bit of uh, a response to that after a while. So uh, I'll... Uh, uh, I'll do that. Uh, just keep kind of keep that going. But uh, if you can, just drop you, uh, you know, hop on, uh, hop on to on your channels and and such, and uh, post your content. Uh, post, you know, what what's what inspires you uh, as far as inspires your builds, and uh, love to hear that as well. But uh, Mike, great question, uh, and uh, got the gentleman's uh, sub that uh, that started that started that out. Love watching everybody's content on YouTube. Anyhow, well, that's about it on this one. Uh, going on, like I say, uh, got a lot to do today uh, on this, and uh, appreciate all the likes, all the all the subs that I've received over the last couple of weeks, folks watching this, and uh, uh, be looking for the this one to be finished here pretty soon. So, anyhow, folks, remember if you can dream it, build it. God bless y'all. Pappy out of here.